Uh, Fraser Brown, a SeaTac, and I'm here to talk about the size 4 uh, Snuff Air, which on this particular version is attached to a, a hoop style sock. The, the downline is always bowlined uh, to the downline bridles. It's bowlined so it can be easily untied and, and retied again. The actual downlines themselves is made up of three legs. Uh, these two are the primary ones to pull down, and this centre one is the support leg. The, the downline bridles are attached to the, uh, to the bladder directly and not to the chafe guard on the outside. The chafe guard itself is made of three different materials. The material here, which is the, the bearing point of where the spinnaker actually goes in, is incredibly slippery and we've actually developed this material ourselves and it's the PTFE. So this spinnaker will bear on this extremely slippery PTFE material. The Kevlar is the next material, and that's here because it's, it's extremely good for when a rope, which will happen at some point, will abrade over here and try and actually saw through it. So the Kevlar is a, a, a very good material for protecting the bladder. On the inside, on the inside here we have a heat insulation layer. So this makes up our third material. So we have the PTFE, very, very slippery material on the outside. We have the Kevlar again on the outside, um, for the abrasion and for the heat build up we have the heat insulation layer and when I say heat build up we're pulling this whole unit down over a length of a spinnaker say 55 to 60 meters and the, the heat build up is phenomenal so much that it can actually uh, uh, melt the Kevlar so this this again is there to protect the bladder the bladder itself is its own structure so we actually have an inflation valve and a release valve the inflation valve is here and we use the boat's compressor uh, to blow this up. The release valve is set at 10 psi so that the, the, the compressor can be used by anyone on board and you can't actually blow the bladder up because the release valve will keep releasing at 10 psi. Here we have the upline. The upline is attached to the bladder in the same way as the downline with these black tags and the upline is inside its own pocket. In the, uh, in the sock itself. And here is the attachment point for the, the second halyard, the, the, the other spinning halyard or the gant line, whichever the boat has uh, in use for this particular sock. And that attaches directly onto here and pulls the bucket directly up the spinnaker. Um, so, and that's the way to deploy the kite. You see here the red uh, sight line stripe. This is used obviously for the people on the bow to sight the, uh, any twists that go into the, into the sock on the hoist. And it's also extremely useful for when packing the kite on the deck, especially in a race situation. As we move up the sock, we have these hoops. And these hoops are here to, as the bucket comes up the spinnaker, these hoops will collect on top of the bucket and they prevent the spinnaker sock material itself from falling through, which is a prolapse situation which we want to avoid. So we have these hoops incrementally up the sock and as the bucket is being pulled up to the top, these collect on top of the bucket preventing the material to fall through. So we have a stack at the very top of the spinnaker ready for the, ready for the drop at the bottom mark. So we're now at the top of the spinnaker sock and you can see it's got reinforcement up here and you can see that the red stripe continues all the way to the head. The, the, this head strop is what attaches the spinnaker halyard itself to the, to the spinnaker. Um, the, the spinnaker sock is tied through the eye of the head strop uh, to stop the spinnaker sock from falling down. So when that's simply pulled up, in the, up by the spinnaker halyard, the sock obviously comes with it. Now to access the actual spinnaker itself, we have a Velcro opening. Open the Velcro and we have access to the head of the spinnaker. And you can see the other end of the head strop. Head strop is attached with a dog bone. And so when you pull the, uh, this neoprene cover back, we access the dog bone. Um, the dog bone is lashed on with a security lashing and we have that by having a hole bored through the bone and the lashing is, uh, is here. So once you actually bone the, um, the spinnaker on, you can then put the security lashing around and then you can put the neoprene back over, again for protection, and, and it's spinnaker's, spinnaker's set up.